Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to both of you. Um, maybe you can start with a brief introduction to Tigers for people who don't know anything about your film. What can they expect? And Ron, if you want to kick off. I would say that they can expect a um, pretty different perspective on modern day professional football. Uh, that a, a film that takes place uh, behind the curtains and showing the, the part of football you didn't know existed. And I believe kind of the genesis of this film actually began a long, long time ago when you even bumped into Martin um, after you'd written his autobiography. So maybe you can just talk us through a little bit the genesis of the project and how you developed it into the film that we see today. I mean, as you say, it started really a, a few years ago because when, when me and Martin were the kids on, on, on the book tour, he released his autobiography about his 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 uh, football career and his time in into Milan. And I released my first novel and we were like in our early twenties. Uh, I wanted to become a filmmaker. I was just about to make my, my first short film at the time. And one drunken night, we made a pact that when I, when I was good enough, I'll, 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 I'll make a film based on his his story, even though the, the you know, the, the thought of doing it at the time wasn't really realistic. Um, but he said no to everybody else that wanted to make a film based on his story and waited for me. And um, that kind of um, branched out into a trilogy about, uh, uh, about the three sports that takes uh, three films that takes place in, in the world of, of, of sports. Um, one in, in the world of, of uh, tennis that is called, Bo which was the first film, it was called Borg versus McEnroe came out a couple of years ago. Uh, and this is the second one. And the third one takes take place in the, in the world of gymnastics. Um, so, I mean, I think it's, it's, um, it's been with me for a long time. And I, I had the idea that, and, and a frustration about the fact that there has, there, there are very few good films about sports and about football, there's practically none. Uh, and I wanted to make a film that is really, you know, going to the essence of what it means to be a football player. And um, maybe we just uh, to bring Eric into the conversation. So, um, and, and for you, obviously, you know, casting that role was going to be so, so crucial to your film because, you know, for much of the film, you know, the camera's trained on his face, um, you know, trying to soak up every uh, moment of his emotions and the roller coaster he goes on. So, how did you go about casting Eric? And Eric, maybe you can talk a bit about what the appeal was for playing uh, Martin yourself. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, of course, I was super nervous about finding that one actor that could really carry this movie on his shoulders, especially since it's about a sixteen-year-old. So, I needed a young actor, and uh, uh, it, I needed someone who was super brave and super talented and ready to go the, and prepared to go the extra mile because it's as i said to eric when i when i when we started working together this is this is pretty much the closest you come to a, a you know um ex extreme sport version of acting uh you know you're he's in basically every frame almost and uh, uh at the same time it was needed for the story because i knew all along that i needed to make a very subjective film uh, about this world because it's a world we've seen so many times from the outside, but I wanted to enter it through the eyes of a 16 year old. Uh, and then I, I uh, saw um, uh, Eric on, on, on casting and he was amazing. And uh, we just needed to put him in one and a half year of heavy training <laughs> before he could do it. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a bit about going into that casting process and then, of course, entering into, I can't even imagine, the kind of preparation, both on a physical level and, I guess, kind of getting into his mindset, psychological side of, of playing his character. Sure. Um, well, I mean, I think why I, I wanted the, the part and why I took it, I think it's quite obvious. Um, you know, firstly, uh, it, it was an amazing, and it is an amazing script and an amazing story. And and just to be able to to play a a character who's you know in every scene that's that's a, a challenge that I was very willing to to do um, and you know um, 
then then when when I got the opportunity to to do the role to to do the part, uh, it was like a year and a half before we started shooting. Um, so so I, I started working out with a with a personal trainer uh, and basically did bodybuilding for like a year and a half just to gain muscle and and to to be able to look like a professional footballer. Um, so I think I gained probably like ten kilos of muscle before we before we were done. Uh, and you know that was also a very interesting way for me to to get into character um, through the physical way because you know most of the time you kind of get into character by reading the script and and you know talking to the director and doing research and stuff like that. Um, but since you know the 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 workouts and and football is such a huge part of Martin. Um, and who he is and in his life, it was a very interesting way for me to, to be able to find my character uh, through that path. So, so that was very rewarding, I think. And then there are, of course, a couple of, of qualities that Eric has that everyone who sees the film can notice that, that, that film, the film really needed, which is this kind of magnetism that is needed when, when you're having one uh, actor in frame practically all the time. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I, th I think Eric has one one of these, um, you know, um, it's, it's not a skill. It's a it's he has this quality that you can't really train to get, where it feels like you you can tell the story of a lifetime without words with your face, uh, and that's um, that's that's a very special quality. And and uh, I'm very blessed as a filmmaker to 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 be able to to use it so much on screen. <laughs> and yeah, that's one thing I was going to come to is that, you know, I mean, it's not a very easy character to play because he doesn't give that much away. And of course, there's the language barrier, um, but he doesn't always kind of endear himself to other people either, kind of the way, you know, maybe not kind of getting involved in the, in the, in the, the male banter. And, you know, so obviously there's that kind of animosity, but there's also some aspects of his character he doesn't do himself any favours. So was that also something that was quite um, an important tone to strike, both in the performance and, and you directing him? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Um, I mean, I also think that, um, you know, Martin as, as a character is... It, it, it was a, a challenge, but also a fantastic, uh, you know, as, as an actor, it's, it's like a, as close to a dream role as you can, as you can get, not just because uh, he is in the movie so much, but also the, the kind of broad spectrum uh, as a character from, from, you know, being super, super, um, you know, um, pushed in, in in itself in a way and also be able to kind of live out the the um, like a first love in a way it's, it's so much so many emotions and so much to to play with and to to work with so that's just a you know fantastic opportunity and in terms of the shoot i mean there are some really intense scenes there not not just the ones on the football pitch um but you know the the sort of more emotional scenes as well um what might have been some of the highlights and challenges of actually shooting the film both from from each of your perspectives yeah i mean it's 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 uh it's a quite brutal film uh and uh it, it's it's we, we you know we really set out to make not only a very different kind of sports movie in the sense that it's not a film about winning or losing a game it's a film about winning or losing your life uh, so the stakes are much higher than they normally are in, in a film about sport um, but we also wanted you know we me and me and my my team members uh, my, my head of departments we, we we usually you know we try to remind each other about the fact that we were supposed to make a film with with the mother heart you know that we wanted to make a film about Martin's mother's greatest fears, uh, and with the love of Martin's mother. And I think that's, I think that 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 was quite crucial for the film because it's um, it, it opens up the movie, but it also makes it much more dangerous. And you know, just thinking about some of the themes that come out of the film, 
as you said right at the beginning, like, have we really seen a football film like this before? I mean, there's just so much out there of the glitz and the glamour and the girls and the money. And this really kind of gets behind that and sort of shows, you know, even when he gets the opportunity to play, it seems more like a nightmare than something to celebrate. So there's something in the way it's shot that kind of shows this complete other side. Um, was it important to you to perhaps kind of shed some light on some of the realities for particularly young men going into these situations? Yeah, and I mean, I, I think it was a fantastic opportunity at the same time to, to make a film about this world where so many things that are extremely strange are normal in this world. I mean, it's almost like a funhouse mirror of topics that I think are interesting, like masculinity or or, or economy or psychology. And and I think, you know, it, I mean, from the get-go, it's it's a it's a world where that is, you know, surrounded by the 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 idea of buying and selling human beings. Just there it's 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 there's a level of absurdity that is amazing as a filmmaker. I mean it's uh, so for me, it was not really, I don't see it as a, as a kind of, um, that it's kind of resenting the sport or that it's uh, kind of uh, against football or, I, 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 I love football, uh, but at the same time, I, I see the absurdity, the tragedy and the absolute strangeness of of the modern day football industry and and i'm just amazed that no one no one's ever made this film before it's 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 to me it's quite strange uh because we're so many people that are so interested in football we, but we have very little idea on what's happening behind the curtains and for you eric i mean what was the experience like for you from start to finish was it very eye-opening to you to kind of understand what this world could be like in reality and did you come out the other side of it perhaps with a changed perspective sorry was it a question for me yeah i was just saying um you know how how did you feel after the experience of being involved with the film did you feel changed as a person yeah uh, sorry i have a bit of a bad internet connection i think uh, but for sure um you know for me, um, my view on football was, I guess, what most people's view, uh, you know, is that, you know, you see the, you see what you see on telly, and you see what you see on social media, and and, uh, and you see the glamour and the the, the fantasy that the everyone's, you know, dream job as a um, young boy or even young girl. Um, so just to be able to kind of see the backside of it in a way. Uh, you know, really open my eyes to the to the world that is football. So absolutely, for sure. And I think what can be interesting about, you know, I, I can see Ronnie, you know, from what you said, we've got this trilogy of films, we've also got an interest kind of in the sports drama, but of course it throws up issues that are relevant beyond sports um, and whether that's young people, you know, being on social media, for example, that this disconnect sometimes between the performance and, and kind of the lonely feeling people can have when they go home um, and they're not performing. Um, so do you think there are some universal films, that, uh, themes that come out of a film like this? Absolutely. And I think this, this uh, trilogy of, of movies set in the, in the sports world that I've, that I've been making is, is, I mean, for me, it really comes from, from a point of frustration over the fact that most films that, that kind of portrays uh, these arenas they're not interested in the real arenas and the real questions and the, I mean to me there are so many universal themes and questions being asked within these uh, within the world of sports and I think it's almost in many ways the kind of perfect arena for making a coming of age film for example which in many ways this is um, where you're asking questions about identity psychology um, and um, also, you know, very human uh, questions on who, who you want to be and what is a free human being and what's, what's, what are you worth as a human being in, in the same second when your, your financial value increases, what happens to your human value 
at the same time. I mean, I think it's it's. Uh, so I, I don't really see them as sports movies, and especially not Tigers. In it, it's I, I see it as a coming of age drama set in the world of football. But you don't have to know anything about football to watch the movie. Ultimately, what do you hope people will feel or think as they walk out the cinema after watching it? I hope that they will feel like they've been on a roller coaster ride, and uh, I hope they're they're um, able to both laugh and, and and cry over the fact that it this is how it is in reality and uh, that it's such a and to, that, that people are, are open to embrace the 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 absurdity and and the, the brutality of of the modern football world and for you eric what do you hope people take away um i i hope that people you know get touched by the movie i i think that i hope that they get you know start thinking in a way not um not just open their eyes for for this part of of the world that is football but also to be able to you know that that feeling when you watch a really good movie that you know that just makes you think a bit and and you kind of have to digest it a bit i think you know that would be my my hopes for it i think well, I think I'm out of time, but just very quickly, maybe uh, Ronnie, you can talk a bit about your future projects, including, you know, Perfect, that I think Olivia Wilde's going to be directing. And Eric, maybe you can tell us if you've got another job lined up after this. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the, the third film in the, in the sports trilogy is, is called Perfect, and it's set in the, in the world of, of uh, American gymnastics. Um, but it's it's written and uh, Olivia is directing, so um, I'm I've kind of moved on from the world of sports after this. Um, I, I think I've 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 done I've done my my share of 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 uh, stories in the in the in the sports world, and I'm 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 writing a love story at the moment. And you, Eric, what are you gonna do next? Um, well, I I have some projects, um, but as you know, as actors, you can't really talk about your upcoming projects until until you can talk about them. But I, you know, I've, I've stuff that's coming out as well, uh, stuff in in Sweden and in in Norway, and then uh, just recently I had this uh, movie on Netflix called Black Crab that's been released. So, so yeah, it's it's you know, I have stuff going it's on. Taking over the world. That's the essence of it. <laughs> Well, it's been so lovely to speak to you both. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us and can't wait for everyone else to get out and see Tigers later this summer. So thanks so much. Perfect. Thank you. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you.